<laughs> What's up, people? Come on in. Have a seat. Let's go. Hey. Okay, so I went to the grocery store, <laughs> aka Instacart. And picked up a few things for the one, two, one, two. Okay, okay. all right. Lemons. Okay. Jalapeno peppers. All up in yo, jalapeno. Okay. Got some garlic. Got some cream cheese. Some, this is the good white cheddar cheese, okay? This is the good white cheddar cheese. We got some mozzarella, mozzarella, okay? The mascarpone, okay? Strawberries and cauliflower IA. Okay. Picked up some broccoli rock. I mean uh, broccolini. Do you guys know broccolini? It's like a Japanese broccoli with the longer stems, a little bit milder in flavor. Um, this is what broccolini looks like. Like this. Tastes like broccoli. Kinda, right? In the same mindset. And then we have le chicon, le chicon bris. Okay. Uh, first things first, though. You know what time it is. I think it's time that we make us a quick, good drink. All right. Let's do a little. Let's do a little something. Let's do a little. Let's do a little something. Hold on. First of all, you know, you know, ain't nothing ready, okay? You already know, ain't nothing ready around here like it's supposed to be, all right? Let me get my, let's see if I can get the, this phone wasn't charged. I don't know if I can get face, my Facebook, my regular people, okay? All right, let me see, hold on. Can y'all see? You can see? Okay, we can see. All right, everybody's good. Let me see if I can get this other Facebook on. Um, we gotta get some ice. Oh, no, you know what we're gonna do? We gotta make the syrup first before we get the ice. Well, let's get the ice first. We get the ice. Let me put these people on. Put these people on live. Come on, we get the ice. Let me get some ice in here. strawberry syrup. Now you could do this in a food processor. You could do this in a blend or you could do this in whatever you want to do it in. But we're going to do it today in the food processor. First of all, you got to go rinse off your strawberries. Don't 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 put the don't put the strawberries in here without rinsing them off. Okay? Step number 1. Now strawberries in moderation are what? Keto. Okay. Well, I don't want to hear your mouth. All right. Okay, come on. So we're gonna take strawberries, and you know strawberries really don't be that sweet. Sometimes, sometimes they be good, but this late in the season, they just be. They all right. Need a little help, Jesus. But we gonna help it. Okay, so we're gonna make a real quick strawberry. Strawberry syrup. Okay. 
Um, so you want, and you can do this with any um, fruit. If you're doing keto, you ain't got that many fruit choices to choose from. Okay. Oh, while I'm doing this, don't forget to join the keto Facebook group. It's called 30 Minute Keto. All right. And then we're in the middle of our 90 day keto challenge. All the recipes are posted where? Huh? Where they posted? On the blog. Where's the blog? On the internet. Which one? Darius Cooks. Dot TV. Amen. Please govern yourselves accordingly. All okay. right. And then we put a little piece of monk fruit sweetener around here like this. Though. Now we're making a syrup. Okay. You got strawberries and you got that. Now this is what we're going to do. I thought I had one of these already open. I do. No, I don't. Hold on. You know we ain't got nothing ready around here. Oh, I thought I have one. Oh, I guess I know. Okay. We're going to take the sugar-free, the sugar-free um, strawberry syrup, and we're going to fortify the flavor by putting a little sugar-free syrup in here. So now we got strawberry, monk fruit sweetener, and sugar-free syrup. Okay. Where we going? Somewhere. Come on. Let that go. All right, and then we're gonna put this away in something. Let me find something to put it in. Hold on, hold the line, please. I got something. What do we have? We have keto strawberry syrup that you can use now on anything you want to use this on. Okay, look at that. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. Very nice. Amen. Okay, now you have your syrup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the cocktail shaker like this here. And you're going to pour in a generous amount of your strawberry syrup. We may have to make some more of this depending upon how this evening goes. Okay, then... You can do any kind of citrus you want. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, fresh squeeze from the bottle lime juice. Okay. And then, shout out to my people of St. Croix. We have some aged cruising rum. Hi, St. Croix. How you doing? Okay. So then we're going to take some aged rum. Just a little bit, okay? The spirit tell me to top this off with some more syrup. The spirit say, Darius, go on top this off with a little more, okay? We're gonna make some more of this, okay? All right, then we're gonna put the lid on, like this here, and then do this. Now I need a towel, cause this get real, this get, this get cold. Now listen, uh, saints, if you don't have rum, don't worry. Use tequila, it's a margarita. Use vodka, it's a martini. Use Hennessy, it's a good time, okay? All right, so you wanna give this a shake. The key to a good daiquiri, a good martini, is letting it go 30 seconds, okay? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right? That's the key to a good, you know how it's going to be good? Look at this here. Look at that. This is how you know we got to have a good time. Oh, there's a little water in there. I made a little mess. Hold on. That's what towels are for.
as often as he do this. Do it when? In remembrance of me. Okay, if you want to join the Keto Challenge with us, make sure you join our Keto. I'm going to say this now. Join the Keto Facebook group. It's called 30 Minute Keto, 3-0. Join the Keto Facebook group. Text the word Darius Cooks to 21000 or go to DariusCooks.tv slash Keto. These have been your church announcements. Please, ma'am, please, sir. Govern yourselves accordingly. Okay. All right. Come on. Let's cook. What we doing? Then they have a good time. Let me push y'all back some. Hold on, so y'all can see the board. YouTube. What up, Facebook? Instagram and Facebook. Okay. All right. Everybody good? <laughs> okay. This is the smallest bowl known to man, ain't it? Here go a bigger one. This is a bigger bowl. That way y'all be able to see what we're going to do. Now, we're going to make the jalapeno popper stuffed chicken. And you know that uh, jalapeno poppers are the cream cheese. And whatnot. Okay? So, let's get down with the whatnot. First, I want you to take... Let me tell you something. Any recipe... That start off with cream cheese got to be anointed. Name one recipe that start off with cream cheese that's not good. You can't. Okay. Try to have this as close to room temperature um, as possible. Okay. I need something to stir this with. Let me get a spoon. That's what I need. I'm looking for something. Okay. The key is. Hold on, this got a little water. The key is to make this as close to room. So like get the cream cheese and leave it out. Cause the more you leave it out, the better it's gonna, it's gonna smush around and stuff. Okay, next, we're going to add the cheese, more cheese, okay? So let me get my cheese grater. I'm going to get my cheese. This thing keep flipping back up. Why I keep doing that? There it go. Sorry, um, YouTube. If the thing keep on its own, it keep like doing stuff. That's a better view. Okay, get you a cheese grater. Okay, let me get a knife, open this up. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to grate down some cheese. Now you can put as much or as little as you want. The recipe calls for like a half a cup. But you know what? It's really it really depends on how you feel. Okay? It really depends on how you feel. Sometimes a half a cup don't be enough. Okay? And sometimes a half a cup be just enough. That's like three quarters of a cup. 
a good mozzarella cheese. Now around here, I like cheese. Cheese is good. Not only do I like cheese, I like biracial cheese product when you mix the cheese together. So we got mozzarella Italian, we got Wisconsin cheddar. This is biracial, okay? Two parent household dinner, all right? Italian and Wisconsin, we like it, amen? Okay, so we're gonna grate up your little bit of this nice, now this is the good, this is the good cheddar, okay? Oh, good stuff. Mm hmm. Come on. Put you some cheddar in there. Okay. Okay. Cheddar cheese. Cream cheese. Mozzarella. So far, so good. A little pinch of salt. A little pinch of pepper. Hold on. Let me get the pepper. I got it. And I'm also going to get a little piece of, um, I got it. Okay. A little piece of pepper. A little piece of Herbs de Provence. Okay. A little piece of Herbs de Provence. Okay. Oh, they said Facebook is frozen. Is it back or is it still frozen, Facebook? Hold on. Oh, Lord Jesus. It's a fire. Oh, they said Facebook done frozen. Facebook. I like y'all there. Let me see It's like y'all there. I don't want to stop it. Mm. They say we good. So am I. Okay. I put the herbs de Provence in here. We're gonna put it in just in case. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna give this a little stir. Now here's the trick. The trick is this. If it's a little cold still, like this kind of is, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to pop it in the microwave for just a couple of seconds, okay? Not a lot. Okay. Meanwhile, let's talk about our chicken. Okay. Let's talk about our chicken. Ooh. I have chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And sometimes the chicken breast be a little thick. Like this, this to me is a little thick on the thick side. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna beat him down a little bit. And don't, don't burn. We're gonna beat him down just a little bit. You take your piece of parchment paper and you stick him on top of this like this here. Then you get your little piece of skillet. Okay, hold the line please, hold the line. You got the beat up. Like it's so what did I tell you to do? Perfect. 
this something, this something every black mama can do. And no problem. Every black mama could do this. Okay. I'm going to rinse the chicken off. What? You going to do what? <laughs> you doing what? The hell done got into you. Cruising rum. I just did it the best of y'all. You know how y'all do. Y'all get on my nerve. So I have to fool with y'all every once in a while, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put some gloves on. <laughs> All right, a little salt and pepper. On our chicken. It's just two chicken breasts, that's it. A little piece of olive oil. Okay. Salt, pepper, smush it around good. Okay. Then you're gonna take your knife, all right, and you're gonna cut you some slits in the top of your chicken. About four in each chicken breast. Now I'm not gonna cut, I'm gonna show you in one second. I'm not gonna cut all the way through. I'm gonna cut about four slits in each breast. See that? Well, that's only three in that one. But this one is bigger. This is a um, side, this is a D cup titty. So in your chicken titty, you're gonna cut, cut you about four slits like this, okay? All right, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna grab the cream cheese and the aged cheddar with the salt and the pepper. You know what we need in this? Oh Lord, we need a little piece of garlic in here. Oh Jesus, we can't get by without a little piece of garlic powder in this. Garlic, cream cheese. Oh, Lord, we need a little piece of garlic, Jesus. Okay, now put the gloves back on. Okay, you got to put your little piece of garlic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you stir this around real good and you grab your spoon full of this. And in each of the slits you made, you're gonna put you a little piece of your cheese mixture in each of your slits. First of all, wear gloves, it's a little messy. Okay? You put in your cheese mixture in the middle of each one. How bad can this be? If you ask me, not bad at all. Okay? So what we're doing is we're mimicking the jalapeno popper. You know, jalapenos filled with the cream cheese. Okay? Now, I know what you're saying. There he is. Where is the jalapeno? This is the popper. This is the jalapeno. So you want thin slice. Let me get a new knife. Let me wash this one off. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Ooh wee. Excuse me. Okay, so you're gonna thinly slice some jalapeno slices, okay? And we're gonna stuff them right into 
the slits with the cream cheese. Huh? What are we gonna do? We're gonna stuff the jalapenos right into the slits with the cream cheese. Huh? Oh yes. Where we going? Somewhere. How fast we going there? Soon. Oh, I need me a little more, couple slices. All right, here we go. Jalapeno popper stuffed chicken. Huh? What? Look at that. Okay, you see that? Huh? You see that? Okay, oven is preheated, 400 degrees on convection. That's got to go in there and that's got to cook up real good. Okay, let me get a towel because I made a mess. All right. While that's cooking, we drinking strawberry, keto strawberry daiquiri. Okay, monk fruit sweetener, strawberries, a little strawberry syrup, and the slightest amount of rum. Not that much rum, okay? Now we're gonna make the cauliflower puree. Okay, cause this chicken gonna be so good by itself, you need something for it to sit on top of. So you can scoop up the juice and scoop up the cheese and stuff. Who knew keto was this good? Listen, make sure you in our keto Facebook group it's called 30 Minute Keto, okay? Come join us and have a good time. Down to the keto group. We're in the middle of our 90 day keto challenge. You can join our challenge by going to DariusCooks.tv uh, slash keto. And then all the recipes, the recipes are posted. They're posting. They're DariusCooks.tv. Okay. This is a cauliflower. A head of cauliflower, okay? What you want to do is chop off the florets. This is a floret. Sorry, hold on. Okay, this is a floret, okay? Chop off the florets of the cauliflower, throw them into a bowl. We did this last week. This is how you steam your cauliflower real quick like, and you ain't got to worry about it. That's, I gotta go rinse this off. I don't know if you can do this with broccoli. But you can definitely do it with cauliflower. I'll be back. Okay. That was quick. Okay. Now, here's what you want to do. 
You need a paper towel. You want a damp paper towel. Okay? Take your paper towel that's damp and put it over your cauliflower. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Okay? In the microwave, seven minutes. Seven-ish minutes, okay? All right, chicken is cooking. It won't take long for that. Cauliflower is cooking. It won't take long for that. I think we should make another drink before... before we make the broccolini. The broccolini is a garlic and cheese broccolini. We're gonna, I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see it. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see it. For those who just joined, First of all, hi. I am so glad that you're here, okay? Uh, make sure you join our Keto Challenge. Uh, our Keto Facebook group is called 30 Minute Keto, 30 Minute Keto, 30 Minute Keto. Join our Facebook group, okay? You can also join my email list. I'm going to kill you. Oh my gosh! Hold on, let me see if I can get you on. Hold on one second. Kevin, go live. I'm gonna see if I can go live. With, oh, it says you're unable to join. Oh my gosh, why are you unable to join? It says you're unable to join. Why can't you join, Kevin? This is my friend, y'all. My friend Kevin Johnson Jr., the comedian. I'm trying to get him to go to New York with me. No, not Kev on stage. I'm trying to get him to come to New York with me, but he, he won't come. He won't come, and I don't know why. I don't know why he won't come. Hold on, I got mad viewers, son. Hold on. I got mad viewers. I'm flagged. <laughs> he has to request to join live. For whatever reason, it won't let me. For whatever reason, it won't, I can't, I can't go live with him. I don't know how to do it. I'm slow. Dang. He's so funny. Y'all know who Kevin is? Kevin is the one that does bring read the back and you can take my ex. Bring read the back. That's Kevin, y'all. Crazy stuff. Anyway. Mm. Emerald Green is on. What's up, Emerald? Like a block of Austin. Oh, we lit tonight, son. Everybody online. What's up? What's up? Hold the line, please. Ice, homemade, strawberry syrup, a little piece of aged rum. Not that much. Not that much. With a little swig of lime juice. Fresh squeeze. The lime juice wakes up the flavor. Okay. All right, let's go. 30 seconds.
I can't go live with him. I tried. All right, and then we do a little pour. Yes. Yes. Mm. We put the sugar-free syrup. Where we put it? We put it in the blender with the with the puree. Mm. Okay, come on, y'all. We gotta cook. I get caught up talking to y'all. Y'all distracting me. Stop. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost threw this away. Okay, garlic. A lot of it. I like to slice my garlic. Like this. By the way. Garlic is keto. It's like people want to go live with me. Who want to go live with me? Okay, who should we go live with? Juicy Misfit, Miss Trapper, or Natural Karen? Let's go with Nubian Queen. Let's see if Nubian Queen join us live in the Darius Cook's Kitchen. Okay, this is garlic. Hold on, she ain't wanna go live. Hold on. Request, newbie queen, add. I always say you unable to join. You know, it could be mine. It could be me. It could be my, I ain't upgrade. I don't have the 11. I, I, listen. I'll, it could be me. It could be my phone. I'm on an old phone. I'm on like a, I don't know what kind of phone. That's a seven or eight or something. I don't know. Okay. I don't, I don't know. And I ain't really going to worry about it too much. Okay. If you want to talk to me, you got my phone number. Amen. Okay. All the garlic goes into the pan with the hot, with the oil. It ain't hot. You know why it's not hot? Okay, maybe it's not a seven. Maybe it's an eight. I don't know what it is, but it don't matter because it worked. Mm. It worked. It says waiting for somebody, child. Who is this? It's like connecting. Oh, Lord. I'm nervous, Jesus. I'm nervous. Why I'm so bright? I don't know. There you go. It's like connecting. It ain't connected, though. The devil is busy. That's our cauliflower. Okay. The broccolini, we got to rinse off. We're going to saute this in the garlic oil that we make it on the stove. Okay, it went away. Let me see. Let me try somebody else. Maybe she got scared. Go live with Andrea with this sexy picture. It says, waiting on Andrea Purry. Purry? Hurry. Oh my God. I made it. You made it. Oh, wait, I can't hear you. Hold on. Can you hear me? How are you? I'm good. I love your cooking. I love everything you do. Oh. I got your book. And I love you on Periscope. You just amazing. Thank you so much. How you? Where you from? I'm uh, originally from California. Born in Mississippi. Now I live in Arkansas. Arkansas. 
Why you live there? Listen, I'm in the military. Oh, well, thank you for your service. I got to go when they send me. I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? No, because you got to do physical training at 6 a.m. That's true. Well, I do it at 7 30, but. I still can't do it. Yeah, that's one thing. Physical training is something else. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna burn something. I can't do it. But I love greens and gravy. You been to greens and gravy? Yes. Yes, so, lovely. I'm so proud of Atlanta, and I'm coming to Chicago uh, in two, two months. Don't lie, Chicago. cause I'm gonna be looking for you. I'm coming, and you, I'm gonna tag you when I come, and I'm gonna say I'm here. Oh. Uh, What's your name? Andrea. Andrea, it's such a pleasure to meet you. What you eat for dinner tonight? So tonight I went to uh, Smash and Crab. What's that? And I got some Smash and Crab. You ain't never been to Smash. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you why. Um, I'm in Texas, San Antonio. Uh huh. And they got a Smash and Crab where they bring out, you know, the food in the bag. Uh huh. I, I'm familiar. I'm I'm quite familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Was it good? Did you have a good time? It was amazing, but it was nothing like Soul Crab. Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like Soul Crab. You understand me? Nothing. Baby, nothing. ain't nothing like Soul Crab, Church of Crab in Christ. One church, two locations. And lobster. Mm. And I tell you, I cried. Mm. 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 I'm so glad you came. Okay, well, listen, Andrea. I would love to talk to you, but I'm going to burn my garlic. And it's a lot of people watching, and I'm going to be ashamed if I burn my garlic in front of all these people. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. I love you so much. Love you too. Bye-bye. All right. See you later. Aw. Look at God. Okay. You people, you guys are so nice. Not everybody's a hater. Not everybody. Okay, let me risk this off real fast. Hold on. Okay, now the garlic has been cooking. It's about to burn, but we saved it. You toss the broccolini. Baby, I am lit. Do you understand me? Okay. The garlic is cooking. A little, a little salt. And a little pepper. Let that cook. We should add some butter. Where's the butter? I found it. I found it. I found it. We're gonna add a little butter to the pan. Okay. With the broccolini and stuff. A little butter. All right, speaking of chicken, don't worry. Look at this. Huh? 
Look at what we got, okay? This is our jalapeno popper chicken that is roasted up nicely, cheesy, gooey, spicy, <coughs> delicious. Okay, the last thing we need to do is make the cauliflower puree. So we're just sauteing, we're just sauteing the, the broccolini and a little bit of butter, olive oil, garlic, salt, excuse me, and pepper. Okay? Now, we went ahead and we steamed our cauliflower in the microwave. Let's add the cauliflower onto the bottom, I mean, onto the, in here, okay? Okay, cauliflower's in there. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, and then one of my favorite ingredients in the whole wide world is mascarpone cheese. Everyone says they can't find mascarpone. It's very easy to find. Okay. It's like an Italian cream cheese. And then we need a little half and half to mix this up. A little half and half. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is keto. A little heavy whipping cream. Okay. A little heavy whipping cream. Let's do a little, let's do a little drizzle more. There we go. Okay, let's go. you right <laughs> but your boy feels good okay I don't know about you but I gotta tell you something I feel amazing okay we should have a silky smooth puree a silky smooth 
cauliflower puree. All right. With the mascarpone cheese and the heavy cream and the whole bit right through here. Okay. Then let us not forget that we roast it off. First of all, look at that. Okay. Let us not forget that we roasted off the lovely jalapeno popper roasted chicken with all of its lovely juices, just like that. Okay. Then we saute it off lovely garlic broccolini with the butter and the garlic just like this okay with all that lovely fried garlic goodness and if that wasn't enough because that's not enough I have some lovely Pecorino Romano grated cheese that goes right on top because nothing goes better with broccolini or broccoli like cheese. Take a look. Take a look at this. Okay. Okay, so we have that we have the broccolini, we have the um strawberry daiquiri. We have the jalapeno popper stuffed chicken with the broccolini and a little side of a little side of the cauliflower puree. Can you see it? Okay, good. First of all, make sure you join <laughs> the Facebook group. It's called 30 Minute Keto. Okay? Make sure you text the word Darius Cooks to 21000. Also, make sure you join the Facebook group. It's called 30 Minute Keto. And make sure you text. Darius Cooks to 21000. Also, the recipes are going to be found at DariusCooks.tv. Join the mailing list at DariusCooks.tv slash keto. Okay? If you're in Chicago, come see us at Soul Crab, Church of Crab in Christ, one church, two locations. Uh, 19... 04 Northwestern in Chicago. If you're in Atlanta, come see us at Soul Crab Atlanta, 3725 Main Street in Atlanta, or come to Greens and Gravy Atlanta, 1540 Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard. Okay? This is the cauliflower puree. That literally is outstanding. It's so good that you really don't even know I have cauliflower. And the great thing about it is it helps pick up this chicken stuffed with the cream cheese.
It is chicken with cream cheese, heavy cream, I mean, mozzarella, cheddar cheese, jalapeno that has like reduced and cooked and has really just sort of taken on this lovely caramelized flavor. And here's the broccolini. You hear that? We didn't cook the broccolini until it was super soft. It's got some crunch to it. Listen. You gotta get these recipes to try. Blue moss. Don't forget to join the mailing list. DariusCooks.tv slash keto. Make sure you are part of our text community. Text Darius Cooks to 21000. Join the email list at DariusCooks.tv slash keto. Okay? Join our Facebook group. It's Darius Cooks. I mean, it's 30 Minute Keto on Facebook. Three zero. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, everybody. Love you.